गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स तो टुडे वी आर हेयर टू स्टार्ट अवर न्यू चैप्टर दिस इज चैप्टर नंबर फोर फाइबर टू फैब्रिक सो बिफोर नोइंग वॉट आर फाइबर वॉट आर फैब्रिक लेटेस्ट स्टार्ट विद अवर क्लोथिंग अच्छा वी वीयर क्लोथ है ना वाई डू वी वीयर क्लोथ एंड बडी कैन वी कैन से वी वीयर क्लोथ टू प्रोटेक्ट अस फ्रॉम हॉटनेस coldness pain fall and to protect us from the skin skin infections and sunburn and due to the insect bite so why do we wear clothes because of this reason so this cloth as we know everything is has its history so how do the cloth being made how was the cloth made and how do the starting of the cloth came in that this how do the cloth came in existence we will just see about 70 2000 year ago early men begins to you as we all are familiar with that the fact that first what do the early men used to wear early men used to wear the skin of the animal and the leaves to protect them from the hot uh, from the temperature that is sun burn cold wind thorns and the stink bites these animal skin for helpful to keep them body warm now scientists also have found that they used to see their clothes with the help of sewing needles which were made from the bones of the animals the uh, how do they used to see their clothes they used to see their clothes with the help of the needles made from the animals bones which were used about 40000 years ago then and uh, animal started the usage of the sheep they used to extract wool from the sheep which they start this was started about 6000 years ago in 3000 bc they used starting using silk they started using a fine fiber called silk which was discovered in china with the development of agriculture more fab fibers like cotton and hemp came in the use cotton begins to be widely used in india around the 300 years 3000 years bc wool silk and hemp were also the fabrics which were mostly wrapped with the bodies of with the bodies of the uh, people which were used as the loose garment still in india the loose garments are prepared examples are dhotis sarees and the kurtas next clothing material like just food and shelter clothes are also necessary for us just we already know so what does the what is the function of clothes they protect us from the heat cold and rain and us from the insect bite now people wear different type of clothes based on the different climate like in uh, places like cold climate like in america they used to wear woolen clothes and jackets like in india we have all the seasons so we wear the clothes according to the different season like in summer season we wear the cotton clothes in winter season we wear the woolen clothes we wear the different clothes on the basis of the different season and on the basis of the different lifestyle and culture like in uh, south generally in south india we can see the people used to wear the dhotis and the kurtas you know what are the, these clothes made up of these clothes are made up of the materials like cotton silk wood wool leather nylon and polyester so clothes are generally made up of the materials like cotton jute silk wool leather and nylon how do we these get the material we get these material from both natural method and from the we get these from the both natural method as well as the chemically matter natural method are what plant and animal so and chemical which we get from the which the clothes which are made from the or the clothing material which are made from the chemicals are called the chemical material 
लाइक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ नेचुरल मटेरियल इन प्लांट्स विच विच मटेरियल विच वी गेट फ्रॉम प्लांट वी गेट मटेरियल लाइक कॉटन जूट कॉटन एंड जूट वी गेट फ्रॉम द प्लांट वॉट डू वी गेट फ्रॉम एनिमल एनिमल फ्रॉम एनिमल वी गेट सिल्क फ्रॉम सिल्क वॉम एंड वूल फ्रॉम द शीप नेक्स्ट सम मोर टाइप ऑफ एनिमल फाइबर इंक्लूड कैमल्स फाइबर अंगोरा गोट अंगोरा रेबिट दीज आर सम ऑफ द अदर एनिमल फ्रॉम विच वी गेट द फाइबर्स वॉट आर द केमिकल फाइबर्स फाइबर्स विच आर मेड ऑफ द मटेरियल विच आर मेड फ्रॉम द केमिकल्स लाइक पॉलिस्टर एंड नाइलोन दीज आर मेड फ्रॉम द केमिकल्स सो दीज आर कॉल्ड एज केमिकल और सिंथेटिक फाइबर नेक्स्ट फाइबर टू फैब्रिक सो बिफोर नोइंग फाइबर टू फैब्रिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी मस्ट नो वट इज अ फाइबर अ फाइबर इज द थिन स्ट्रेंड विच आर ट्विस्टेड टूगेदर और स्पन टूगेदर टू मेक अ लॉन्ग थ्रेड और यान सो स्मॉल स्मॉल और थिन वेरी वेरी थिन वेरी थिन ट्रेंड थ्रेड्स वेन वेरी थिन थ्रेड्स वेन आर ट्विस्टेड विथ ईच अदर वेन आर ट्विस्टेड विथ ईच अदर when thin fibers are twisted with each other they are forms the thread these thread are used to these threads are woven or knitted to make fabrics what what is a fiber fibers are the thin strand which are twisted together to make the threads and these threads are woven and knitted together to form the fabrics so this is the difference between a fiber and a fabric what a fiber fiber are the thin th- thin strands which are used to make threads and these threads when are knitted together they forms the fabric silk and wool are the example of fibers so some common example of fiber are cotton silk wool are the some of the common mm-hmm. fibers fabrics are made by using any of these two main processes like weaving and knitting fibers are made by using any of the two methods that is weaving and knitting so what are two methods two process for making fabrics weaving and knitting are the two methods for making fabrics got this next we will see one by one them weaving what is a weaving in this process two sets of yarn or thread are arranged in such a pattern to make up to are arranged together in a patterns to form the cloth the type of pattern by which the two sets of yarn by the the type of pattern made by the two set of yarn is called the weave it is used it is done by the machine called looms so f- just we will repeat what we have studied in the process of weaving two set of ya- yarn or threads are arranged together in a pattern to make a cloth in the process of weaving two sets of yarn or thread are arranged together in a pattern to make the cloth the type of pattern made by the two set of yarn is called a weave it is used when it is done by using a machine called looms and these looms are either run by hands called hand looms or by electricity so you can see this example these are run by hand so they are called the hand looms and when they are run by the electricity they are called the power loom so what is the definition of weave weave is a process in which the type of a weave is a pattern made by the two set of yarn the type of pattern made by the two set of yarn is called weave and the process of making 
a process of making fabrics with the help of the weave is called the weaving if it is done by using the machine it is called looms so it is done by the machines called the looms when this machines are run manually by the hands then it is called a hand loom and when it is run by the electricity it is called a power loom okay next knitting so we near about most of the family we have seen our mamma used to make a uh, sweaters and all by knitting us knitting the wool so knitting is another method of making fabric by using a single yarn and a series of connected loops by the knitting the needles by using knitting needles or machine what is a knitting knitting is a method of making fabrics in each or every mostly homes we have seen that knitting is preferred so knitting is a method by of making fabric by using a single yarn and a series of connected loops by using the knitting needles or machine sweaters are made from yarns of wool by the process of knitting the fabric made by weaving or knitting is then stitched to make different types of clothes once the fabrics are made from the uh, from the process of knitting or weaving then these fabrics are used to make the cloth once the fabrics are made out of by knitting this knitting or weaving the fabrics then different types of cloth are made by stitching the by stitching the various types of fabrics first we can say a fabric is made from fibers and these fibers may be natural or synthetic so what is a fiber fiber fabric fabric is made from the fiber and the fibers may be natural or synthetic what are the example of natural fibers cotton silk jute wool these are the example of natural fiber whereas polyester and nylon are the example of synthetic fibers now we will broadly learn what are the natural fibers and the synthetic fibers so fibers are broadly categorized into two types fibers that are obtained from the natural sources fibers that are obtained from the natural sources are called such as plants or animal are called natural fibers fibers that are obtained from natural sources such as plant or animal are called natural fibers example are fibers are natural fibers are cotton jute wood and wool and silk fibers that are obtained from natural sources such as plants or animal are called natural fibers examples cotton jute wool and silk where the fibers which are used by the chemical substance by used by the human being using chemical substance are called synthetic fibers example of the or man made fibers or artificial fibers fibers that are made by human being by using chemical substance are called synthetic fiber or artificial fiber or man made fibers example of synthetic fibers are nylon rayon and polyester or acrylic in this chapter we will learn more about plant fibers in detail so plant fibers are obtained from different types of plant the fibers which are obtained from different types of plant are called plant fiber example of plant fibers are cotton jute coir hemp flax and silk cotton so first we will look about cotton so cotton in india khadi a coarse hand woven cloth is made from the cotton spun or charkha we used to see na gandhi ji used to make its own cloth by using the charkha all have seen i think so charkha with so this type of cloth is made from the charkha in india khadi a coarse hand woven it is used to run by hand so 
hand woven cloth is made from the cotton spun and which was called as khadi cotton is used to make different shirt t-shirt towels inner garments bandages and coffee filter what is the benefit of cotton cotton is light in weight cotton is light in weight the cotton plant what is uh, so uh, how do we get the cotton we get the cotton from the cotton plant a cotton plant is a shrub the fruit of the cotton plant is called the ball the whole fruit this you can see in the picture these are called the bowl this white color are called the bowl the bowl has seed inside copper fibers grow around this seed you can see this is a white color this is called bowl bowl consists of bowl contains a seed the cotton grows around the seed when the cotton bowl matures it dries up and split open us exposing the cotton fiber the mature cotton fibers are harvested so when they get the when they get more mature so the cotton comes out of these bowls and then these cotton bowls are harvested to extract cotton out of these bowls during the process of ginning seeds are separated then other uh, after harvesting the cotton bowls from the fields these are sent to the in factories where the seeds are separated from the fibers and the process is called ginning the seeds are separated from the fibers which is called ginning the clean fibers are then spun using machine to produce cotton yarn after cleaning the cotton these are sent first what is the method harvesting the cotton balls from the fields then they then the seeds are removed from the fibers which is method is called ginning and then they are cleaned and after cleaning the cotton they are spun using the machine to produce cotton yarn the process of making yarn from fiber is called a spinning the process of making yarn from fiber is called a spinning yarn is then made into cotton fabrics by weaving or knitting after make is after getting the fiber after making the threads these are sent to the industries where these fabrics are knitted or weaved for making the fabric and after once the fabric is made then we prepare cloth out of this fabric next comes jute next important uh, fiber is the jute jute we get the stem of the we get the jute fiber from the stem of jute plant jute stems are cut and kept in a shallow pond for few days until the fibers are glued together loosen up with the help of water so what happens these fibers are sticked very tightly with each other once first we cut the stem then these stems are kept in water for 2 to 3 days because the jute stems are glued together with each other very tightly so to loose up them we keep them in a water so water loose up this stem bangladesh is the main exporter of jute india or is exporter of jute india china nepal and the thailand are other main producer of jute so this this country is the main producer of jute bangladesh is the main producer of jute after bangladesh india japan china and nepal india china nepal and thailand are the other main producer of jute jute fibers are used to make number of products such as jute sleepers hat kurtis ropes mats and sacks for packing and storing grain okay now we will come to the exercises so just we will classify what do we get from plant so wool we get from animal that is sheep jute we get from plant silk we get from animal that is silk warm nylon nylon we get from the chemical cotton we get from the wool we get from sheep jute we get from 
वूल वी गेट फ्रॉम एनिमल जूट वी गेट फ्रॉम प्लांट सिल्क वी गेट फ्रॉम एनिमल नाइलोन वी गेट फ्रॉम केमिकल्स और मैन मेड कॉटन वी गेट फ्रॉम प्लांट रेओन वी गेट फ्रॉम एनी रेओन कम्स अंडर मैन मेड हेम्प कम्स अंडर प्लांट पॉलिस्टर कम अंडर मैन मेड लेदर कम अंडर एनिमल टेरीबुल कम्स अंडर मैन मेड फर कम्स अंडर एनिमल एंड क्वायर कम अंडर द प्लांट मेज द कॉलम्स लूप्स ऑफ यॉन निटिंग टू सेट ऑफ यॉन वीविंग हार्वेस्टिंग ऑफ कॉटन बॉल्स टू टाइप्स ऑफ फाइबर्स नेचुरल और सिंथेटिक जूट फाइबर्स स्टेम्स